आरंभ है ये एक नई उड़ान का होगा ऊंचाइयों पे सबका साथ पदक मिला राष्ट्रपति से होगा एनएसएस से सबका विकास एक जमा एक दो नहीं हम ग्यारह बन जाते हैं अपनी सेवा से देश को आगे बढ़ाते हैं जागरूक नागरिक होने का फर्ज निभाते हैं आओ एनएसएस से हाथ मिलाते हैं आओ एनएसएस से हाथ मिलाते हैं Let's understand the innovative ideology behind NSS to serving with the motto not me but you since 1969 in India the concept of pupil involvement in national services championed by Mahatma Gandhi travel backs to the pre-independence era after independence the university grants commission recommended the need for a voluntary national scheme in academic institutions which can motivate students to give services to society the culmination of his efforts keeping the ideals of Gandhi ji in mind NSS came in to existence in 1969 at 37 universities in several states of india the year 2020 marked the inception of the national service scheme at netaji subhash university of technology since then the nss nsut cell has been growing stronger widening its outreach working for the welfare of our society we have been consistent in executing efforts undertaking wide range of initiatives and providing precious opportunities to students hello i am dr praveen saroha and i am the university program coordinator of nss nsut cell our unit has established in the year 2020 and in the very short period of time our unit has achieved a lot recently we have been awarded with a president medal our volunteer nss volunteer anuj has been awarded with a best cadet best volunteer of delhi and this award has been given to delhi after a gap of 54 years so it's a great achievement for us as an nsut nss cell we have lot of other programs which are being run by our nss nsut cell like various programs we conducted at the adopted villages and other works which we were doing for the last 3 4 years thank you very much On India's 77th Independence Day, NSUT organized an event to celebrate the nation's freedom. The event featured a vibrant array of cultural performances that showcased the rich diversity of talents within the student. From dance to soul-stirring musical performances, from poetry to heart-wrenching theater performances, each act paid a homage to the nation's heritage. An award ceremony also took place to commemorate students for their achievements and dedication. India celebrated its 74th Republic Day on 26 January 2023. The event was commenced by our Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor J P Saini hoisting the flag at the administrative building which was followed by a Rashtra Gaan and a parade. Cultural performances were carried out that filled the audience with patriotism and enthusiasm. Also, the NSS NSUT's Azad 2.0 magazine was inaugurated on this day. Inspired by the mantra "Each one teach one," our team NSS NSUT cell has been working on Project Asha, through which we have till now provided free education to over 300 students. Our goal is to foster proper guidance and education among the youth. The students hail from the adopted villages and neighboring areas. A 10-day basic computer literacy program which was offered free of cost was conducted in June to provide essential computer skills and create an equal opportunity for underprivileged children to learn and grow. A total of 50 students from MCD Ward Chawla was selected. This program covered Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Google Suite, and handling and managing email and its related operations. The 10-day self-defense training camp held in collaboration with Delhi Police in April 2023 was not just a safety precaution against the increasing crime against women but was an empowering experience. The dedicated instructors led informative and hands-on sessions equipping the girls with essential skills to protect themselves from any threatening situation. The training also aimed to instill confidence and awareness among students. Participation certificates were also provided to all. The National Youth Festival 2023 hosted in Hubali Karnataka was an exceptional opportunity for our team. 
Two of our dedicated volunteers represented us and it filled us with immense pride. Youth from across India enthusiastically took part and we were one of over 7500 participants. The event featured a diverse range of activities and captivating cultural showcases. It was truly an unforgettable experience for our volunteers leaving a lasting impression. A vivid flower show on March 25 was organized in the presence of the Vice Chancellor and other dignitaries. It showcased the diversity of flowers with vibrant colors which were appreciated by all. The trophies won by NSUT in different flower shows organized by DU, DTU, Delhi Tourism and the YWCA were presented. On the account of the 92nd and 93rd Shaheed Divas, Kavi Sammelan was organized. The event was attended by dignitaries of the university along with the wife of Shri Kiranjit Singh, the nephew of Shaheed Bhagat Singh and Shri Satyashil Rajguru, the grand nephew of Shaheed Rajguru. The event reignited the sense of patriotism and inspired everyone. In 2022, International Day of Yoga was celebrated in NSUT by having a dynamic 7-day yoga workshop. Yoga Mohotsav was celebrated for 2 days with more than 2000 participants and an august presence of DM and DCP of Southwest Delhi. Our NSS cell of NSUT has always been active in celebrating the International Day of Yoga. On 20th June 2023, we were invited to Yoga Mahotsav organized by Ministry of Youth Affairs in Major Dhyanchand Stadium. On the International Day of Yoga, NSS NSUT cell collaborated with Vegas Mall for celebrating the Yoga Day. Further than that, we also took part in the event Yoga for Yamuna and Sahibi organized by SGM office Najafgarh in Kakrola village. The fitness festival organized by NSS NSUT cell on National Youth Day at Vegas Mall Dwarka was a remarkable initiative to promote health and wellness among young people. Different sorts of fitness activities were conducted and a prize distribution ceremony was also held. This event successfully achieved its objectives, leaving a lasting impact on the participants and the community. We made a visit to the National Museum on Feb 5, 2023 to celebrate India's G20 leadership. The visit was intended to uphold G20 theme of Vasudeva Kutum and One Earth, One Family and One Future. The students' eyes were captive by the unique treasure of the Hindu Valley civilization and the art and culture legacy of numerous dynasties. They experienced the nostalgic movement of the ancestors through glimpses of Indian Asian and culture like coin, text and textile. In a nutshell, the visit was both memorable and enlightening. In commendable display of support for our armed forces, NSS NSUT cell conducted a blood donation campaign on 21st April 2023 that resonated with both students and faculties. The event saw a surge of eager donors lining up to contribute their life-saving gift. We are happy to announce that we collected nearly 165 units of blood which will be channeled towards army hospitals. The NSS NSUT cell organized Run for Unity on National Unity Day, the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. 1800 plus participants from 20 plus colleges, universities, school units participated in the run. The run was initiated from the Netaji statue NSUT Dwarka Sector 3 and terminated in the Vegas Mall Dwarka Sector 14 covering a distance of 3.8 km. The event flagged off at 8 a.m. after official unity pledge and ended with refreshments. NSS organized a seven-day special camp in a university-adopted village, Nanakheri, from 25th December to 31st December. On the first day of the camp, we organized a health camp. We collaborated with a team of doctors from Chaudhary Brahm Prakash Ayurved Charak Sansthan. Our goal with this health camp was to provide village residents with opportunity to access and afford free health consultancy. We provided free medical advice, medicine to the needy and also referred for specialized treatment whenever it was required. We also launched the Nasha Mukh Bharat Abhiyan on the streets. A special curated Nukkar Natak was organized 
to convey the message to make Nasha Mukt Bharat. The second day of the camp commenced with ferry to prompt people to come for voter ID registration, rectification and linkage with their Aadhaar cards. A plantation drive was also organized by us in various public places and along the boundaries of roadways. More than 120 plants were planted by volunteers. The third day of the camp began with a ferry around the community to disseminate the message of women empowerment among the female residents. On this day, activities were dedicated to wall painting on G20 related themes in the most conspicuous public Monday. The fourth day of the camp kicked off with a plogging drive in the streets of Nanakheri. This drive was an endeavor to make the village spick and span. After making the place spotless to continue the undertaking of Project Asha, where learning competitions for village kids were organized. The fifth day resumed with a planned distribution drive in Badusarai village. This resulted in more engagement between the people and the volunteers. The people expressed their joy and excitement at being a part of plantation team and staying in the village. Coming forward, the sixth day of the camp was held on university campus. A quiz was held to increase awareness about G20 and its importance in promoting peace and harmony for progress and development. A wall painting activity was done on admin block. The idea of wall art was used as a powerful tool to expand the awareness of India's G20 presidency. To broaden the horizons of learning through an educational trip on the last day, a visit to Rashtrapati Bhavan Museum was organized. The visit provided both a wonderful learning experience and a pleasant memory on a concluding day. The world is adapting the principle of sustainability. So the visit was organized to Taken Waste to Electricity Project Limited in November 2022. The visit to Waste to Electricity program was eye-opening experience. We were inspired by the innovative technology and the environment benefit it brings. The visit not only expanded our knowledge but also reinforced importance of eco-friendly initiative by Anisys. NSS and CET cell has organized multiple workshops till now. We at NSS believe in equal women rights. We celebrated World Daughters Day with full enthusiasm. Career counseling workshop for students of Government Boys Senior Secondary School, Dwarka, was conducted in July 2022. We provided guidance to students of class 10th in selection of the most appropriate stream. We have conducted three workshops in regard to women empowerment, dealing with prevention of sexual harassment at workplace and post NSUT cell also attended the celebration of Diamond Jubilee of Central Bureau of Investigation held in Vigyan Bhavan. The chief guest of the event was none other than Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in the August presence of National Security Advisor Sri Ajit Doval. A Chintan Shivrer was conducted in two sessions about the labyrinth of bank fraud, Ponzi scheme and cyber-enabled crime. A workshop on awareness regarding blood stem cell donation was conducted, followed by the registration campaign. The workshop was instrumental in highlighting the serious challenges faced by the patients suffering from fatal blood disorders and critical role that unrelated donors play in providing them with a second chance at life. An adventure trip was organized by NSS to visit Dalhousie in Himachal Pradesh. It was a meaningful and captivating trip for the volunteers. We visited Subhash Chowk and Subhash Bali to learn about Netaji and Dalhousie. In Daikun and Jot, volunteers interacted with the locals about their way of life in the mountains and how they manage their resources like water and electricity. We also visited the Arya Samad Museum where the annual NSS magazine Azad was presented to Mr. A.K. Sehgal. 
In October, NSS organized an exposure trip to Amritsar, where they attended the famous beating retreat ceremony at Atari Vaga border. They also attended the Jallianwala Bagh and the Golden Temple. 40 plus NSS volunteers from NSUT attended the exposure trip. NSS NSUT cell organized many meets and greets between several influential figures like retired Major General of Indian Army and nephew of Shaheed Bhagat Singh, Shionyan Singh Ji and Shri Kailash Gehlot, Transport, Finance and Revenue Minister in Delhi Government to foster meaningful connections and ignite the sparks of inspiration among the leaders of tomorrow. At the heart of food distribution drive in collaboration with ESCON under the Portion Abhiyan was a simple yet powerful mission to provide sustenance and hope to individuals and families facing food insecurity. Our team gathered in Dashratpuri and worked tirelessly to ensure the smooth distribution of over 500 people. Apart from this, we have conducted several plogging drives in adopted villages and university and collected more than 600 kgs of waste in total under Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. On Gandhi Jayanti, a mega plogging drive was conducted in village Nanak Heri and Balusarai. We also conduct ferries to sensitize the local population about the importance of cleanliness before every drive. Plantation drives have been organized timely in special camp and university. Plant distribution drives to locals have been carried out with saplings with medicinal benefits like Tulsi. To celebrate Mary Marty Mera Desh, Amrik Vatika was formed in NSUT with 75 sandalwood saplings. Our team has also conducted sanitary pad distribution drive in collaboration with nine foundations for students and workers in university as we aspire to break all taboos around menstruation. <laughs>